Hello everyone, Zminer99 here, and welcome to another uh, live stream. And let's see if I remember my transition keys and stuff, my hotkeys. I do, okay. It has been another little bit since the last live stream. Um, but, needless to say, we are back for yet another one, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, we're going to do one Stream Raiders battle tonight, just one. Um, I do not have the most time in the world, so we'll do the one and that will be good. Um, and I already looked at the quests, so we want to do the mage, if I can remember where the mage lies. I think ranged, right? Yes. Okay. We're going to use our mage. We're going to put our mage here, um, and then you guys can just kind of fill in units right there, and we'll try to keep it all kind of centralized. Uh, right. And if you want to join into that, that's called Stream Raiders. The link just got put down there in the chat for you to join. It is free. It just requires linking in with your Twitch account. Um, and I use it, so. Um, multiplayer, no, sorry, it's campaign. Um, load saved campaign, uh-oh. What? There are no game files. Oh, that's because I actually finished the last one. That's right. Duh. <laughs> Why is there no campaign file? Because I, um, I didn't need to deal with it last time. All right. I have brought you to the Coalition Center of Quantum Science and Technology for a very special task. Sorry for something a little bit of lag. We're not here for I'm a taking conference. care of something. You are correct. The Illuminate government is responsible for protecting this glorious and shiny symbol of a better tomorrow. We're here to destroy it. There we go. Yes. Everyone will see our government's weakness. Please tell me you're not asking me to attack my own people. I can assure you that the building is empty, and the city is in the process of being evacuated. So what's your plan? If it was up to me, I'd just drop a little nuclear gift on your doorstep. Good thing it isn't up to you. You're no fun. The <laughs> platforms are heavily defended against an air attack. I can occupy their forces with air, while you construct a sizable land force. How's a land attack supposed to work? Ah, I have secured the use of an Illuminate Experimental Space Temple just for this purpose. You see, it's a two-way teleporter that can instantly this transport is actually your a fun land thing forces to, use. to a destination of your choosing. Okay, so I got land, you got air. Excellent! Jaren, this doesn't feel right. Have faith, sister. We can trust him. If you can make the teleporter work, it could be used to get a significant land force into position on the other side of the chasm. Now, one thing about this teleporter is that it allows two-way teleporter, like um, our friend, slash maybe not the friend, if I don't spoil too much, uh, Cybern said 
it is a two-way teleporter, so that means that whenever we put it down somewhere, the enemy can use it as well. So basically what I'm doing is what I like to try and do um, at first, and that is get resources online and stuff. Um, and defenses, some basic stuff. While you get your face up and running, I shall distract the Illuminate army with a series of air assaults. See, I like this guy for one reason. He is one of the more helpful AI um, while he's your ally, because, yeah. He's one of the stronger AI you'll work with. I agree with Gage. This space temple will let you get your forces across the chasm and deal with the defenses without relying on air. Alright, uh, it's gonna be the proper build order, I think. It won't be. Hold up. Pause. You're gonna get that mass extractor done first. I don't know why I'm so low on mass. Hmm. Maybe it would help if I actually research stuff. Um. There we go. Get a little bit more mass production. <laughs> uh, what? That's 25% more from structures. Which is pretty good. And then we'll get that one. There we go. That'll be helpful. I always forget that. Uh, we need to capture the space temple. We'll wait for that. Um, destroy. Yeah, that's the primary objective. We will unpause you now. I will continue to send air units at the platforms while you amass your land. So, now, as we have been directed, um, we will eventually work on our land forces. I'm going to build some shield generators real quick, though, um, just because they will be useful for this, because we're going to get bombed pretty continually, pretty regularly. chat. Alright. How much do those land turrets cost? 130 less. Okay. We'll, we should be okay. We liberated the technologies. Hear that? This is how I play strategy games, um, if you're not familiar, <laughs> so I will let a strategy take 
take place outside of the game speed set to default so it's not you going now research the anti-air experimental you're seeing on those platforms wait there's an anti-air experimental I'm seeing on the platforms what Oh, wait, that is this. No, that's this. Okay, yeah, no, I already knew about that. It just wants, they just want me to do it sooner. That's all it is. Your work of serious form was exemplary. The power fluctuations caused by the fighting gave the Guardians an opportunity to secure quite a few credits from the Illumina Treasury. They robbed the place? You can take some solace in the fact that you were successful in stopping a very real UEF invasion of the planet. This thing takes a little bit of energy to run as well, so... Excellent. That space temple is yours. Mark a target across the chasm and launch a surprise land attack. Not yet. I don't have a land army yet. The space temple is an experimental temple. It can be used to immediately transport units to a large destination. I have a better idea. You Gonna be set to unload Picking there. up some mass deposits on the nearby mesa. Use transports or teleport some units over there to take out any defenses. Once the area is clear, send over an engineer to build some extractors. In the event of an emergency water landing, due to excessive amounts of anti-air, your seat cushions may be used as a flotation device. Oh, those are anti-air. There we go. So now once I get an extra unit, I'll just send it over there.
of those extractors secured in no time. And then for good measure, we will do some land defenses. And then we'll do some shield defenses as well. And then we'll just leave the engineer here to do its own thing. No, patrol to there. <clears throat> Actually, build cost is a good one. You are going to build a couple of extra research facilities, and you are going to offload your units once we get. Eh, we'll go for it. Select a group of units and issue a move command to the temple to teleport them to the beacon location. You're looking at a lot of defenses on those platforms. Hit them fast and hit them hard. Basically, by moving that out of the way, um, they can't come back through. This is kind of cheap, but it's also smart strategically. Let's see, we have plenty of energy so that once this guy gets done, we can build another land factory. There are energy, mass and energy, so resources. And we'll wait until we get eight. Is up to speed. No, not engineers. That one. Boom. Drink. Remember to drink your water. Stay hydrated. It's an important thing to do. Maybe underrated by some as well. The Air Nomo can be built at an experimental factory. Air Nomo. I just realized that name. Oh goodness. That's how my brain works, guys. Thank you. 
hold on. I can't tell him to move there yet. I haven't picked a move spot yet. able to hold it. We were not able to hold it. That's fine, though. Alright, so we're focusing on land forces. So let's focus on land forces. Increase their shielding. Increase their anti-air abilities and all this other stuff. Um, which is usually very helpful whenever you're fighting against mixed force. Having the research facilities is nice though. Um, usually I don't build enough of those and I, it ends up like cutting off my resources and stuff which isn't isn't nice to have happen. Just to put some shields out there. Not that I particularly need them, as with anything else that I have out here. But it'll be good to have. think these guys are going to really get into attack position now. Especially with this guy here. See, that's the one thing, is they're going to go ahead and rank up all my anti-air units a little bit by uh, sending their air units over here. Um, and also, that gets a lot more research as well. Um, your research facilities always boost your research at a base level. But they really seriously boost it whenever you get past that base level, past that initial level. Uh, past that initial level. I mean, past uh, the point where you're not fighting one. So whenever you are fighting, uh, you, you start getting more research. You know, basically like kind of the idea of, oh, well, if uh, we were actually fighting we would be getting battle data right so that's kind of the idea they're going for with that see if my experimental will move through it did now see this guy does have some anti-land as well and you see that there yes they are retreating to the center i believe that would be our cue to how do you say it Yeah, see, I might not actually hold this, but I just broke through most of the resistance. And now the Air Force should be able to actually get, get through a little bit, right? Unfortunately, you can't tell a factory to move directly to there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these guys here till they die. And then once they die, if they die, 
There we go. Add some linked rail anti-air to the assault bot. Not that any of... No, two of the assault bots are still there. Okay. That'll be gone soon. All right, so now, once we get forces here, we can send them through and then send our forces up now that we don't have to. Uh... maintain a fighting force here so much or back here so much anymore and we don't really have to worry about the other platforms either we just have to push through that's all we have to do so we'll wait till we get a tiny bit of an army here send up these five remaining guys send these guys all through and kind of just work it that way Actually, gonna move this. Nah, we're not gonna move that. I don't remember what the AI does with this, so we're gonna put this engineer on patrol there. You, group of five. Attack there. Oh, I need to remember how to do... Uh... Never mind. I don't know how to adjust the tilt angle of the screen, but I think I don't remember how to do that though. There's still all five there. What? This is unusual. There should an attack me. Approaching the center. Take it down. Yes, you must push ahead. I should probably just do an attack move so that they don't all die like they just did. Um, build time. Does not expect AC or experimentals. Veteran C rate is a big one. Uh, that's a good one there. Vision wouldn't be a bad one. Um, but these ones are going to be more important, so we'll do those instead. Yeah, we'll do an attack move next time. That'll be better. Um, It'll be better. Give our guys a little bit more in the way of not, uh, or of not just running in, and they'll actually stop and attack what they can before it attacks them, if that's possible. Uh, missile launchers will do that. Um, they very heavily, in my opinion are useful for the attack moves. So basically we do attack move, they'll attack everything along their path instead of just simply moving there. Yeah. 
See, so like they'll actually stop that. All the anti-air stopped to take care of all of this air before moving on. And that's what I'm referring to by the, uh, by that kind of attacking kind of thing. So the string Raiders is ready. Um, doesn't let anyone put anything down in that, so I'll just wait until later since I won't be holding anyone else up. I'll wait until we finish this. This should not take too much longer. Yeah, so see where these guys are failing kind of is against this guy. They don't have very good anti-land. But they got him, so that I'm not going to complain about. They're, they're well-rounded, really, is what these guys are. But they won't stop moving because their primary, what all their movement's based off of, is air. It's not based off of what they're attacking on the ground, because that's considered secondary. You're almost there, Thalia. Hit the center with everything. I mean, what do you think I've been doing? We'll go with that again. Yeah, so see, this is going to kind of be unsustainable if I keep doing it this way. Um, my armies will get slowly smaller and smaller. Oh, I could build another factory. That would work. What if I do that? What if I just build, like, another factory just right there I guess that would work technically Actually getting to their factories a little bit this time see that's what you want to do because they don't have infinite units the enemy doesn't in this game there we go that'll increase our army size by adding that extra factor in there but see this is what I mean the missile launchers are all sitting back here um, I don't know why this guy's sitting there. Maybe he's waiting with the missile launchers. I didn't realize this one could target multiple things. Okay, and no one's attacking him. He's just... Oh, never mind. I said that too soon. They just rolled out one of those. Did you guys forget about your attack move? No? Oh, they're waiting for this guy. I wonder why the other one didn't wait. I don't know. You're just gonna move since you're not attack moving like I want you to. Usually, they would just keep going. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. 
Looks like we've gotten an army back there again. So another attack move. Oh, hold on. I'm selecting the, a dead unit. There we go. Let's see if they can hold on. Probably not. Yeah, no, not with that one coming in too. And the one behind it, and the one behind that. Oh goodness. Yeah, no. Let's see, I think I'm actually outstripping, um, what's his name? William Gage, Gage's uh, production. So they're trying to hold up there and not really worry too much about down here. In the end though, that's probably not going to work out too hot for them. Okay, it's time for the Air Force to go in and uh, wipe them out, dude. Oh well. I'll just tell them to attack that and see what they do. They've done some damage to it so far. Just tell them to move up here instead. All right, research that. Um, yeah, we'll just focus on all these guys. So now I'll get these two here next. I don't think that was will really help them too much in this situation that we're in. If we can at least get rid of one of these guys, that'll help us. But if we can get rid of two, that would be great. Oh, here we go. Oh, the bomber's diverted. That's excellent. Okay, but they didn't all divert. Good, good, good. Alright, at least that's something. Better than nothing. We'll send those guys up. Send these guys in here. Increase vision, increase radar, and then we'll go for this one, the damage two, which will also unlock another experimental, which we can use at that point. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm still getting way more mass than I need. So what we're gonna do is build another one of these. Because why not at this point? <laughs> Whenever you don't have to wait for your resources to build up anymore, it's kind of kind of cool.
Come on, Gage, where's your Air Force? Hasn't rebuilt yet after the last number. Ah. Oh well. More units. <laughs> That's how you fix it. You just throw more units at it. That's how you fix a problem. Throw more soldiers at it. It'll it'll work out in the end, right? Russia's tactics right there. <laughs> Oh good, the bombers are going to be there a little bit beforehand this time. Oh, yeah. I think we've got it. Front portion of the information I take now, so we'll move. Well, as close as we can. Kind of amazes me sometimes they'll just let themselves get destroyed. Literally. There we go. More attacking. Go! Yet another type of experimental. Now, this one will do much better against the land forces and such. But man, usually they can hold this. Like, I don't... Like, aside from that, they're not, like, actually moving to where they're in range of stuff. And see, that's where the attack moves are really a big deal. Um, is because the attack moves will actually they'll actually go up and get stuff, but because of how messy this platform is, it's not working right, because those are all dead units. And I guess they lock onto them and stuff. So what we're gonna actually do is attack move them to down here instead. Um, that way they destroy this other, this experimental factory. That's the only one. So, if we can get rid of that, then we'll be golden. There we go, there we go. That's what I like to see. Uh, I like those units, if you can't tell. Um, they're actually pretty cool, we'll see. All right, we've used them before in this series, actually. Um, all right, yeah. 
So this is a little diversion from what they want us to do, but it will definitely help us to do what they want us to do. As long as we can actually succeed in the mission to uh, do it. To get this taken care of. Ah, yeah, see, they're sending all that they've got, basically, to prevent this from getting destroyed. But they failed to prevent it from getting destroyed. So now when I tell them to move up to the base of this thing, this should be the last one they have to deal with, right? No, nope, there's one over here still, okay. But now they're just gonna kinda shoot at stuff. Until they all get killed by this last experimental unit. Yeah, that guy's not gonna... I don't think he's gonna survive. Nope. All right. Back move up there. All you guys go through the teleporter. Slip tack, bada boom, teleport. We don't need either, any of those. Let's get another experimental land unit. Just to add to the mix. Use what they're using against them, you know. Because that's fun. Okay, we're not increasing it in mass too horribly anymore. We might actually need to consider upgrading our energy production at this point. How did I end up with 47? Oh, because they lasted for a long time, that's why. I was about to be like, what? That's way more than I thought I had or should have gotten. So yeah, this next wave is going to be pretty major. See, this guy is super efficient. Those are all his drones, you know. He's super efficient at taking out stuff. Yep, uh, this should be it. I don't really see a force that they can counter me with at this point. Unless some of these are experimentals and they pull them all back right now. Yeah, their air doesn't stand a chance. There we go. The center is down. This is a dagger in the heart of the Illuminate government. About 50 minutes, well, not bad. I have enjoyed watching this little battle play out. I have what I need here. Strategic launch detected. You're a monster! Oh, come now. Was that really monstrous? Now this, 
This is monstrous. Strategic launch detected. Who's really the monster? naval force that was on a humanitarian mission. You broke out the Guardian's best commanders from prison, and today you helped me acquire another piece of the Shiva Prime puzzle. Valia Kale, you will go down in history as the most successful terrorist in Illuminate history. On that note, I must bid you farewell. Jared, yeah, we, done? we know his colors now. <laughs> we have to tell someone. Who will believe us? We're all alone. We have to stop the Guardians. Operation completed. Yeah, we, 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 you see his colors really well now, right? I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, man. So we're not going to go to the next um, operation, obviously, but the next operation is Prime Time. This one's actually kind of fun. You're in pursuit of Commander Gage, who's headed to Altair 2 in something called Shiva Prime. You need to stop Gage before more innocent civilians die. This is where, in the story, it starts to get fun and you start to, like, it's already fun. But this is where you really, um, you, you, you'll see, you'll see whenever I get to it. Maybe on, probably the next day that I would do this would be Saturday. Um, so maybe on Saturday we'll see this. Um, but what we're gonna do is go to Stream Raiders um, and we're going to, and that's a thing saying I need to go, um, which is fine because we're about to, I hope this goes well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually curse all these guys, um, because they definitely have the numbers over me. And this is not a very high level mage. It is level one mage. Are you serious? I got that close? If it was a level two mage, I would have made it. Man. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Um, anyways, everybody. That is going to be it um, for today. Let's find someone who we can raid. Um, or actually, I don't really have time for a raid. So we're just going to stop. Um, yeah, keep going. Um, boom. Boom. All right. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't really have time to do a raid um, because I really do just need to go. So I will see you all in the next one. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, and I hope to get back to streaming a little bit more. Bye.